Okay, I want to talk about Babel. Now, Babel is a JavaScript compiler or transpiler. What it does is best described in this little animation they have on their homepage for the website. It's taking the latest version of JavaScript or versions of JavaScript, all the cool new features, things that as developers you want to use. It's taking those things and it's converting them back into ES5, so the older version of JavaScript, or even older than that, if you want to target specific browsers, if you really need to do backwards compatibility, a great tool. So you can write things with the latest version of the language and then convert it so that it will run on the older things, on the older browsers or the older versions of Node, wherever it is that you're running it. So on the website, they also have a, a little trial version, a REPL. And what you can do is you can paste some code inside of here, and then they will write out the older version of it. And you can try it with all the different versions, uh, different options selected. I'm going to write a little bit of code here. Let's create an array. And I'll just put a couple of names in here. Okay, so I've got an array, then I'll create another variable, and I'm going to use the rest, uh, the spread operator on this. So, something that's new. And you can see, here, it's not using the spread operator, it's using the array concat method, and all my lets have become vars. So, in a nutshell, that's what Babel is doing. It's taking new features, converting them into the old ones, so then you can use this script on your website. Now, coming in here and copying and pasting all the time, that's going to be a little bit tedious. You're not going to want to do that. So, how do we do this? Well, I have a new project here, just a folder called Babbling, and I want to add Babel to my project. So, best practices, I'm using NPM, I'm setting up an actual project folder. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to use NPM init, and I'm going to use all the defaults. Boom, there we go. So I now have a package.json file. If I open that up, there it is. There's my package.json file. Now what I want to do is I want to add Babel to this. So I'm going to do an npm install. I'm going to use the flag for save dev. I want to save this as a dev dependency, a development dependency. And there's a couple of things that I need to install. The Babel CLI, the command line interface, and also some presets, the env preset. So I'll do that. It's going to install it. It's going to add it to my package.json file, the fact that I now have these two dependencies. So this should be done in just a moment. Um, there we go. So this should refresh now. Oh, and there it is. Just took a second to refresh inside of brackets. That's a brackets problem, nothing else. So I have de dev dependencies now for the Babel command line interface and the Babel preset env. This is what's going to let me run a command to actually use Babel to compile things. So in my project folder, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two folders here. One called source and one called js. So source is going to be where I write all my cool new ES6 and ES7 features. That's going to be my scripts that I work with. And then the JS folder, that's going to be my compiled version, the one that actually goes out into production out onto the web. So I will create inside of here a new web page as well. And so this is my Babel page. So I'm using Babel. Now, my script, what it will be is whatever I put inside of here. So let's just say it's going to be called main.js. It's going to be located here inside this JS folder. Source, this is the one that I'm going to create as main.js. And then Babel is going to take everything I write in here and it's going to convert it compile it or transpile it and put it inside the JS folder. So I'm just going to grab some code from another folder and I come back and paste it inside of here. Okay, I copied it and there we are. Paste it inside. So I have a JavaScript file. It's got iterators. It's got uh, 
asynchronous functions. Uh, I'm using the fetch and request. I'm using all kinds of new cool things inside of here. So I'll save that. Now, this is my ES6, ES7 script. I want to convert this into the one that I can use on my JavaScript so that inside here, it's going to be using the one inside of JS. Right now, it doesn't exist yet. Okay, I need to do one more thing to set it up. We have installed as a dev dependency right here. We installed the Babel command line interface. We installed Babel preset. That's good. In my package.json, I'm going to set up a script that's going to run the Babel command. So we're going to call it build, and then the command is going to be Babel. Then you provide the folder or folder and file name that you want to compile. I'm just going to say source. That's the one that I want to copy. So it's going to go inside of source, find all the JavaScript files, and then compile those into ones. And I say my output folder is this. So I can put folder name, folder name, or folder and file name, or folder and file name, or just one single file name, like this. What that's going to do is it will take everything inside of here, compile it, and combine it, concatenate them together into a single file that's going to go inside of here. So we can do that. I'm just going to leave it as the two folders for the moment, but you can play with that as you will. Now the last step is we're going to need a file that tells Babel what things we want to include, which things we want to convert. That's going to be a file called Babel RC, and the name starts with a period. So I'm going to use the, oops, not in here, in the terminal. I'm going to use the touch command to create the Babel RC file. All that does is create the file. So it's inside my folder. If I come up in here, refresh my file tree, there it is. There's my Babel RC file. And inside here, it's just basically a JSON file. And presets. There's an environment of thing, uh, um, sorry, an array of things that we can put inside here. ENV is the one that I want to use as my preset. ENV is kind of a shortcut to say I want to compile everything from ES 2015, 2016, 2017, and the latest. There's those four different settings that I could put in here. So I could say ES 2015, ES 2016, 2017, and latest, or all those things together, it's just ENV. Quickest and easiest thing to do. There's other settings that we can add inside of here as well. You can do things like um, add targets. Oh, sorry, this is an object. And targets will be an array. That's going to be inside the array with ENV. So ENV, and then an object including targets. Inside here, we can say, hey, I want it for uh, node version 6.10. Or node version 6.10, as an example. Or we can have Chrome version 52. Or we could say, um, instead of targets, or sorry, instead of this, we could do browsers. And I could list off specific browsers that I wanted to use, things like uh, not IE11 or not Opera Mini. Node could be current instead of the actual version. So there's a whole ton of options that you can put inside here. And I'm going to put some links to the actual documentation for the presets. I'm just going to leave it at this because this is kind of the bare minimum to get started. So we've installed on the command line down here. We installed the Babel command line interface, the Babel preset ENV. We started off by saying npm init, yes, that created our package.json file. And then we did this, which added to the package.json file. It gave us our dev dependencies. Then, oops, need a comma there. Inside of scripts, we add build. Or I mean, you can call it anything you want, but really it's the Babel build and then it's going to run this command. 
and this is the one that's going to do the work. This is the one that's going to go to the Babel RC file and look for that setting to know what it's supposed to convert or compile or transpile, whatever you want to call it. So now on the command line, since I have all this stuff, I can now run this command by saying npm run build. Boom, and there it is. So babbling version one, build this folder. So babel, the command ran, it looked in the source and the output was the JavaScript folder. So source main was converted to JS slash main. And again, a little bit slow here to refresh. Um, oh, there we are. And here is the converted version. So here's the original. This is what it began with. And here is the converted version. So it's got all this quite a bit longer. So 115 lines as opposed to the original, which was 53 lines. So now we have a working version. When we go to upload the project, we want to have our index.html file and we want our JavaScript folder and the JS main file, the one that's inside this JS folder. Those are the two files that are actually going to be the project that we would upload or put online in our production site. And that's it. That's an introduction to Babel. That'll get you started. In the description, I'll put the links to the Babel website, the links to the presets so you can go through and look at some of the options there, and the link to the REPL site so that you can experiment and see what code gets converted and how it gets converted. I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you found it useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.